We are back at the Bull Bank Net Zero house here today. And one of the first things everyone wants to know with a Net Zero home is what is your mechanical setup here? So today we're gonna go over that. For Homes by Sorensen standard Net Zero homes, our most economical setup is a home that does not use gas. So there is no gas appliances in this house and we are not connected to the gas grid. Okay, we got, uh, a little bit of mud water here. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> so our heating system here, we decided to go with the Daikin Sky Air Air Source Heat Pump. This unit does both heating and cooling. The Daikin Sky Air uses heat from the outside air and pumps it into your house by way of a forced air system. It uses the exact same process for cooling, except it takes the heat from the inside and it pumps it to the outside. So one of the reasons why we use the Daikin Sky Air system here is that it's extremely energy efficient. At minus 20 degrees Celsius outside, the Daikin Sky Air will have a COP of 1.9. And COP stands for coefficient of performance. And what that means is, is that at minus 20 degrees Celsius, for every unit of energy we're putting in, we're getting 1.9 units of energy, heat energy, back out of it. Versus an all electric system, which would have a COP of one, which means for every unit of energy you put in, you get one back. So at minus 20, we're almost 200% more efficient than an electric furnace. And at zero degrees Celsius, the system has a COP of 2.9, so you're almost at 300%. The other thing that is uh, important with uh, air source heat pump is that they all have their limitations. So for the Daikin Sky Air, that magic number is minus 27 degrees Celsius. Anything colder than that, we switch over to our backup electric heat. And for this home here, we have two five kilowatt backup electric heaters that will boost us up for any temperature colder than minus 27 degrees Celsius. So just recently we had a cold snap here of minus 38, wind chills down to the high minus 40s. And during this period, my air source heat pump stopped working outside and we had to switch back over to our backup electric heater. So the next piece of equipment that we need to go over here is our hot water tank. So for our house here, we decided to go with the Rheem air source heat pump. The Rheem air source heat pump has two ways of heating your hot water. One is air source heat pump technology, and the second is an electric coil within the hot water tank. You can set the hot water tank to use either straight electric heat or air source heat pump or a hybrid version of that. Because the air source heat pump is far more energy efficient than the electric coil within the hot water tank, we want to try and use that air source heat pump to heat our hot water as much as possible. But there is times when we have a high demand for the hot water going on and we use a combination of both to boost us up. For our electric coil, like I said with the Daikin Sky Air system, its COP is one, one to one. So for every unit of energy we put in, we get one out. For the air source heat pump method of heating this hot water tank, our COP is up at three. So you're getting 300% more hot water when you're on the air source heat pump mode versus the electric for the same amount of energy. So our last piece of mechanical equipment to go over here is our HRV. This is the lungs of the house. This is what brings our fresh air in and exhausts our stale air out. For every high performance home, the indoor air quality is extremely important. For any home for that matter, indoor air quality is very important. And the way you get quality air in your home is to be bringing in fresh air constantly. And this piece of equipment, our Life Breath 267 Max, does exactly that for us. So how the HRV works is when we have fresh air coming in, it is generally colder than the exhaust air going out and it goes through a heat exchanger. So when that hot air that's getting exhausted out, it goes through the heat exchanger and that heat exchanger picks up that energy. And then when that cool, fresh air comes in, it picks up that energy off the heat exchanger and brings it back in the house. Homes that do not use an HRV 
and just have the forced air system, they have fresh air that comes in, but they don't have the exhaust air that goes out. So with this fresh air coming in and the exhaust air going out, we have a balance between what we're bringing in and what we're bringing out. If you just have that fresh air coming in, you, you pressurize the air inside your house and which forces air out through cracks within your house. And obviously that air leakage through the small cracks in your house will make your house less energy efficient. So in our next video, we'll be talking about our solar PV system. That's what we're doing to achieve net zero here. And I'm gonna tell you all about it in our next video. Yeah, I hope I can fall asleep here tonight. It's not supposed to have very much caffeine in it. Red water is a little uh, thick. <laughs> okay.